Oh, Monday afternoon. I'm ready to do this crappy job of doing disc blades on a no-till drill. I think it's going to be probably a knuckle buster, but here we go. Kind of a slow start here in the shop today. I did some office work most of the morning, a bit here after lunch. Trying to get caught up on things. I don't know why we thought it was a good idea to have our business year end uh, March 30th or the end of March I should say because uh, it just wreaks havoc <laughs> trying to get spring stuff done and then try to worry about getting books finished up but anyways that's our problem not yours. Uh, just gonna move out the strip freshener get the air seeder in here uh, and start working on it. Um, not sure if what else we can get up to we got uh, uh, one tractor we got to do a service on yet in terms of changing filters and maybe oil here before spring the other one's still out here in tractor getting ASI it's going to be home hopefully this week sprayer should be home this week we'll get some uh, the fertilizer tips on it for 28 and wheat uh, so just kind of uh, some maintenance stuff on some equipment and uh, getting the stuff finalized for spring here if we have a good week, which I doubt we'll have, because <laughs> uh, I don't know, just the way it works around here, um, we'll have a lot of that wrapped up. Two week forecast looks like complete crap, um, wet, uh, so maybe it'll change here uh, shortly, but uh, I think it doesn't look like we're going to hit the fields here much before the 1st of May. If we can sneak out and get some 28 on the wheat, we will, but uh, I need a spare to do that. and. As I said, hopefully it's home this week. So anyways, going to pick away at some of these jobs and take you along for the ride. So change of plans. I was going to start on the drill. Had some electrical issues with it, trying to figure out how to get the displays to talk on the virtual terminal so I could see my seed tubes. But uh, we're going to get the front tank mounted on this tractor here. So I take off the front support bracket. The guy that I got it from, Scott Cooper, he uh, does a whole bunch of Alpine stuff and does some of this crazy tank modifications and customization. So uh, I'm going to take the tractor to his place, uh, get the front tank mounted on it. And then that way we can get the plumbing figured out and finished up for the Alari cart and uh, go from there. Um, I'll just hook another tractor up to the air seeder to work on it and run the hydraulics, but uh, gonna go for a nice little road trip. Well, Tuesday night actually after supper, came out here at the shop to work on the drill a little bit more. Uh, we are trying to finish up the back gang of this here. Um, it hasn't been an awesome job, <laughs> but uh, so far we're pretty good. We got, uh, I think, uh, six left to do on this back gang. So there's, uh, it's a 30 footer, so uh, 48 openers spaced at seven and a half inches. So the back is 24 and the front's 24 You like the beauty on the front. That's uh, a tractor that dad had bought since Well bought new back in 88, I believe and it's got uh, Just about 11,500 hours on it um, But you know, we're just using it to uh, Lift and lower the gangs a little bit to make the job a little easier Hopefully we get I'm gonna finish up this back gang tonight and tomorrow we can do the front gang and Give it a grease maybe do some other stuff to it. I I got some egg leader parts laying around That I could do a clutch control module on it and actually run section control on the clutches I just don't know if I feel like trying to tackle that project uh, This spring yet got some other stuff we need to do before that, so I think we'll just get these discs done, grease it, um, and call the drill ready to go. Uh, before I get there, uh, we do have some new seed tabs that go on the back. I'll show you that um, once I get to it. But basically, 
Uh, I modify them. Uh, I don't know what people think, but it's what I do. Uh, just because I don't really like putting a C tab. Just hang on a second. That's the stock C tab. To me, uh, being this kind of rectangular, especially kind of square at the bottom here, uh, I just don't think it's going to go in the C trench very well. And whether people agree with me or not, I actually modify them. I kind of slice them so that they will go in the trench a little bit better uh, to help the seed not bounce out. But there's some special ones out there that guys sell. Uh, I'm just kind of in a rip and I'm not too worried about it. If I want to change them, they're not hard to change. So I can do that. So I'm just going to modify these ones now uh, and go, go with that. <laughs> So I do have to say that I didn't do this all by myself. Um, as you'll see in uh, the video, uh, our co-op student Luke uh, was helping me out do this job. Uh, he had the uh, misfortune of being on the inside of these gangs, doing some of the work and I was on the outside uh, doing it. But uh, yeah, so. It's one of those jobs, it's just kind of a dirty job. There's lots of those on the farm. I think everyone has jobs that they hate and wish they didn't have to do, but uh, it's kind of the nature of the beast. I just uh, picked this drill up used uh, this past fall. Uh, after the guys that previously owned it uh, were done planting wheat. And uh, part of the deal was uh, that I would Is anyone married to a crazy spouse? Because I am married to a crazy spouse. Sandy is batshit crazy. Love her to pieces, but batshit crazy. That's also like crazy. Oh, you got your camera out? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I just told it that you're batshit crazy. <laughs> black and white kitty like uh, where okay I'll be there you got the truck yeah okay bye Wednesday just after lunch uh, we spent the morning with Luke doing the front gang we still got seven left to do uh, it's I thought it'd be easier to do the front, but because uh, there isn't stuff as in the way, but it seems to be more difficult than that, or I'm just tired. Um, anyways, I'm gonna just give you a quick shot of the disc that we're replacing. This is the old disc that we just took off. You can tell because it's all rusty and crappy looking. Um, but uh, as you can see here, that's how much of a difference in. Uh, diameter there is so basically if you were to add it up total right around this blade old blade is about an inch shorter in diameter than the new one so I'll just slide this off you can actually see the bevel so basically on the old disc the bevel is completely gone on the new one we can see we have a nice half inch bevel here so that's why we're replacing them because uh, they're wore out uh, they should be good, the boots that kind of do the opening down there. They're uh, in really good shape actually. Everything else seems really good too, so happy with uh, all the other wear points on the drill, just the blades are, are tired and that's why we're doing it. So, Well, got all the disc blades done. Uh, it was not the best job in the world. Um, I think it ranks right up there with sucking out the bottom of a bin with the sucker blower. Uh, but we got it done kind of over basically a day and a half. I'm uh, just going to vacuum out a little bit of wheat that's left in the tank from the previous owners. Not much, just a little bit in the bottom. Going to give it a wash. Uh, give the lower tractor a wash, I think, too, and, uh, 
and the shop so I can grease it and then I can call it done and then uh, do the service on the loader tractor which I think is a pretty pretty big service uh, interval there and we'll do that tomorrow but I uh, figured just get both of them washed up so they're a little nicer to work on and they look pretty. Got the tractor washed up and the drill all washed up for tomorrow. I'm gonna call her a day here on Wednesday. Uh, Sandy's away at a Ontario Sheep Farmers board meeting tomorrow, so I gotta feed sheep uh, first thing in the morning. Got a guy coming to talk to me about chemicals and I'll probably get in here after lunch to uh, start servicing the, that tractor there and go from there. So with that, Till tomorrow. Just in my office uh, Thursday afternoon after lunch uh, procrastinating about going to the shop to work on equipment because I'm sore from yesterday got the sheep fed uh, this morning and uh, met with uh, a guy on chemical my buddy Ken from BASF and talked about some stuff and caught up on some emails so I think I'm just gonna head out to the shop and I guess start working on some stuff. Oh, you. Oh. So the tough part about these smaller tractors and having the wheel spacing set in narrower because uh, we like to have this one set on 60 inch centers for our 30 inch corn rows so you got to be fairly skinny to get in here gonna have to move remove the shield on this side I think to get at the fuel filter uh, and then looking on this side probably going to have to remove this one up. we're going to do cap filters change and drop the oil i'll have to look at the hydraulic oil uh, if it's due for a change uh, we'll do fuel filters uh, looks like we need to top up the antifreeze in it uh, and give it a grease all around one thing we do is try to keep track of all our our service records we got uh, a clipboard here to uh, document every time we change it so we know what we've done uh, we usually do a pretty good service once a year just you know whether it needs it or not I guess especially when you talk about uh, engine air filters and cab filters sometimes they say every two years but we tend to uh, do them a little bit more often just because uh, this tractor gets used a lot it gets about 500 plus hours a year uh, it's got about 2500 hours on it uh, and so we're just gonna try to keep her in good shape so she can last a while Just getting her filled up with uh, oil from our bulk tank. The meter, I changed the batteries on it. But
So what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by your air compressor, um, I just got, oh, I got uh, engine oil in the bulk tank and uh, just pumping it uh, through this device here. It was supposed to meter it. I changed the batteries. And I don't know why the meter's not working. They worked for the first year or two and then it's kind of been finickety since then. So I just got to do it the old fashioned way with a dipstick. Saturday morning, Easter weekend, uh, didn't do much Friday, being good Friday and all, uh, kind of just really took it easy. Uh, today, I don't know what I'm going to do, I'm probably not going to do a whole heck of a lot either. Uh, probably detail up this tractor, going to go help a guy try to set up a configuration on a planter with some ag leader stuff. But I think that's going to close out this week of activities, kind of uh, got a few things knocked off the list. Uh, I think we got a lot of stuff ready here for spring and just waiting for some nice weather. The forecast, I haven't looked, but last time I, I, I seen it, it looked like it was going to turn around here. So crossing our fingers, we'll get out maybe to the fields the end of next week and start doing some field work. But uh, with that, thanks for watching and have a happy Easter everyone and enjoy your weekend with family and friends. Thank you.